The moon, Earth's celestial companion has captivated humanity since the dawn of time. A silvery orb in the night sky it has inspired countless myths, legends and scientific inquiries. From ancient civilizations who worshipped it as a deity to modern astronomers who study its every crater and crevice, the moon has held a special place in our collective consciousness. Its gentle glow has illuminated the night, guided travelers and fueled the imaginations of poets and dreamers. Our fascination with the moon stems from its proximity and its influence on our planet. It is the closest celestial body to Earth, its gravitational pull dictating the rhythm of our tides. The moon has been a silent witness to human history, its craters bearing the scars of ancient impacts. It is a celestial time capsule, holding secrets to the early solar system and the formation of our planet. As we gaze upon the moon, we are reminded of the vastness of space and the mysteries it holds. The moon's origin story is a tale of cosmic violence, a reminder of the chaotic beginnings of our solar system. The prevailing theory, known as the Giant Impact Hypothesis, suggests that the Moon was born from the debris of a cataclysmic collision between the early Earth and a Mars-sized object named Theia. This impact, which occurred roughly 4.5 billion years ago, would have been one of the most significant events in Earth's history. According to this theory Theia, a protoplanet still in its formative stages collided with the young Earth at an oblique angle. The impact released an unimaginable amount of energy, melting both bodies and vaporizing vast amounts of rock. Debris from this collision, a mixture of molten rock and vaporized material was ejected into space forming a swirling disk around the Earth. This disk of debris, bound by gravity, gradually coalesced over millions of years, eventually giving rise to the Moon. This violent birth explains why the Moon's composition is remarkably similar to Earth's mantle. Long before the advent of telescopes and modern astronomy, ancient civilizations looked to the heavens for guidance, finding in the moon a celestial timekeeper and a source of myth and wonder. The moon's phases, its regular cycle of waxing and waning, provided a natural calendar, dividing time into months and seasons. Cultures around the world developed intricate lunar calendars, tracking the moon's movements to predict eclipses, schedule agricultural activities, and organize religious ceremonies. The ancient Egyptians, for example, based their calendar on the lunar cycle, with each month beginning with the sighting of the new moon. Beyond its practical applications, the moon played a significant role in mythology and religion. Many cultures personified the moon, often as a deity or a supernatural being. In ancient Greek mythology, the moon was personified by the goddess Selene, who drove her moon chariot across the night sky. The waxing moon growing larger in the sky often represented new beginnings, abundance and fertility. For centuries the moon was shrouded in mystery, its true nature unknown. Ancient astronomers, limited by the naked eye, could only speculate about its composition and origin. It was not until the invention of the telescope in the 17th century that humanity began to unravel the moon's secrets. Galileo Galilei, the Italian astronomer and physicist, was among the first to turn his telescope towards the moon, making groundbreaking observations that forever changed our understanding of Earth's celestial companion. In 1609 Galileo observed that the moon's surface was not smooth and perfect, as previously believed, but was instead covered in craters, mountains and valleys. This discovery challenged the prevailing Aristotelian view of the cosmos which held that celestial bodies were perfect and unchanging spheres. Galileo's observations, meticulously recorded in his book, Sidereus Nuncius, Starry Messenger, sparked a revolution in astronomy. The mid-20th century marked a turning point in lunar exploration, as humanity shifted its gaze from telescopic observation to ambitious missions aimed at reaching the moon. Fueled by the Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union, the space race ignited a global fascination with space exploration and propelled technological advancements at an unprecedented pace. The Soviet Union achieved a series of early milestones, launching Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite, in 1957, and sending Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, in 1961. These achievements spurred the United States to accelerate its own space program, with President John F. Kennedy famously declaring in 1961, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 
the Apollo program, NASA's ambitious undertaking to land humans on the moon, became a symbol of national pride and technological prowess. After years of research, development, and testing, Apollo 11 achieved its historic mission on July 20, 1969, when astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. Armstrong's iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, echoed around the world, marking a pivotal moment in human history. The Apollo missions continued until 1972, with a total of 12 astronauts walking on the moon. The Apollo 11 mission, etched into the annals of history, marked a turning point for humanity. It was a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of scientific exploration. As Neil Armstrong took his first steps on the lunar surface, a collective gasp of awe and disbelief swept across the globe. It was a moment that transcended national boundaries, uniting people from all walks of life in a shared sense of wonder and achievement. The images transmitted back from the moon, grainy yet profound, captured the desolate beauty of the lunar landscape, Footprints in the lunar dust a testament to human presence became an enduring symbol of our capacity to reach beyond the confines of our planet. The Apollo missions, far from being mere feats of engineering, ignited a collective sense of possibility. The scientific legacy of the Apollo program continues to shape our understanding of the moon and the solar system. The lunar samples returned to Earth have provided invaluable insights into the moon's composition, revealing a history marked by volcanic activity, impact cratering, and the slow, relentless bombardment of micrometeoroids. Beyond the scientific discoveries, the Apollo missions left an enduring cultural impact, inspiring generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. While the Apollo missions marked a golden age of lunar exploration, they were not the final chapter in our quest to understand Earth's celestial companion. The Moon, despite its proximity and familiarity, still holds many secrets, beckoning us to return with new technologies and a deeper understanding of the universe. Recent years have witnessed a resurgence of interest in lunar exploration, driven by both scientific curiosity and the potential for future resource utilization. The discovery of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles has sparked excitement about the possibility of establishing a sustained human presence on the moon. Water ice, a valuable resource, could be used to support future lunar missions, providing drinking water, oxygen, and even rocket fuel. The moon's low gravity and lack of an atmosphere also make it an ideal location for astronomical observations and scientific research. Its surface, relatively undisturbed for billions of years, holds clues to the early solar system and the processes that shaped our planet. Several space agencies and private companies are actively developing plans for future lunar missions. A new era of lunar exploration is dawning, spearheaded by NASA's Artemis program, an ambitious endeavor that aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-2020s and establish a sustainable presence on the lunar surface. Artemis, named after the Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister of Apollo, represents a significant step forward in our quest to explore the cosmos. Unlike the Apollo missions which were focused on short-duration stays and scientific exploration, Artemis aims to create a lasting human presence on the Moon. This ambitious goal requires developing new technologies including a lunar gateway, a small space station in orbit around the Moon that will serve as a staging ground for lunar landings and a hub for scientific research. Artemis missions will also utilize a new generation of spacecraft including the Orion crew capsule, designed for deep space missions, and the Space Launch System, a powerful rocket capable of launching heavy payloads beyond Earth orbit. One of the key objectives of the Artemis program is to land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon, marking a significant milestone in human space exploration and inspiring a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. The Artemis program is not simply about returning to the moon, it is about establishing a sustainable presence that will serve as a springboard for future missions to Mars and beyond. The vision of establishing a permanent human presence on the moon, once relegated to the realm of science fiction, is rapidly becoming a tangible possibility. The Artemis program, with its focus on sustainability and long-duration missions, lays the groundwork for the creation of lunar outposts, where humans can live and work for extended periods. These lunar outposts envisioned as self-sustaining habitats, 
would rely on resources extracted from the lunar surface, such as water ice for life support and rare earth elements for manufacturing. Three-dimensional printing technology could be employed to construct structures using lunar regolith, the loose, unconsolidated material that covers the moon's surface. The establishment of lunar outposts would mark a profound shift in humanity's relationship with the moon, transforming it from a celestial destination into a second home. These outposts would serve as hubs for scientific research, resource extraction, and even tourism. They would also provide a platform for conducting astronomical observations and launching missions deeper into space. The moon's low gravity and lack of an atmosphere make it an ideal location for constructing large-scale telescopes and other scientific instruments. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration, the moon continues to captivate our imagination, beckoning us to unravel its remaining secrets and unlock its potential as a stepping stone to the cosmos. It is a celestial muse, inspiring artists, poets and dreamers for millennia. The moon, once a distant and mysterious object, has become a familiar destination, a place where humans have walked, explored and left their mark. Its craters and maria, once visible only through telescopes, are now etched in our minds, a testament to the power of human curiosity and our insatiable thirst for knowledge. The moon is not simply a destination, it is a stepping stone, a platform from which we can launch ourselves further into the cosmos. It is a source of resources that could sustain future generations of explorers. As we venture further into the solar system and beyond, the moon will remain a beacon, a celestial companion reminding us of our place in the universe and the boundless possibilities that lie ahead.